for five winters now. You have hidden from the world. Once you are a great warrior, I will make you warrior again. How? At the beginning of the film, we discover him in the hills of Tibet. We see him finding his spiritual self. Good concentration, English. Sorry? And he is persuaded to come out of retirement by British intelligence. And he comes back and finds a very different British intelligence. Johnny English. Look into the camera. Don't smile. MI7 has changed somewhat since Johnny English was working for them. It's a very modern, caring approach to British intelligence, which is all fairly horrific for poor Johnny. Pamela Thornton, head of MI7. Pamela and Johnny English have never met before. She's heard nightmare stories of how he's botched jobs in the past. Have a seat. And he proceeds to embarrass himself every time they seem to be in the same room together. She was in Hong Kong. She's the killer. She's my mother. From Gillian Anderson to Dominic West to Rosamund Pike, I'm very keen to assemble a team that you feel had Daniel Craig slipped in and joined them. They could all make a Bond movie together. That is the secret of this film, is it has to convince you that this is plausible. I mean, I think this script is as good as any Bond script I've ever read, which is what makes it very funny. It sometimes actually adds to the humor because the situations are so serious that when something goes wrong, is it inevitably dies. You just can't believe it's happening in this particular situation. So when is the Prime Minister going to grace us with his presence? I'm the Prime Minister. <laughs> yeah, you wish. It is definitely a bigger film than the first one. It's not only bigger in scale, but in ambition. We wanted something more complex, more of a comedy thriller. But the jokes undoubtedly are the most important thing. You should enjoy the comedy and be highly amused by the occasionally ludicrous way with which Johnny English goes about his job. Set the sat for Switzerland. Let's kick some bottom.